Okay, this is Aaron again with Exalted Lamb. Man, what a day I've had today. Um, I've had a lot of negative stuff that people have posted on my site. I mean, literally the worst I've had so far. Where someone would come in and go to every single comment and post negative stuff. Even swearing and all kinds of stuff. And so, um, but that wasn't the problem. The problem for, for me today was that I was dealing with this idea of a lot of people dying and and knowing what's going to happen, and knowing the timing, and all that stuff, but then also w wanting to be joyful that the Lord is coming, and I'm so conflicted. I mean, I'm so conflicted with what um, is coming, and all the death that's going to come, and what I've seen in dreams, and in evidence, all kinds of evidence, uh, you know, from what the enemy is doing with the dark side of the coin, what God's doing with the light side of the coin, and people have all their comments about, oh, I want to see this, or what about that, or I don't like this, or this not going to hit, and nothing's going to happen. I mean, every kind of thing. And that, by the way, that's in my ARC dream. So I'm going to actually post my ARC dream, just that, not the full video I did, um, which there is a full video um, that has other things in it as well, and has the ARC dream in it as well. But the ARC dream is already talking about this kind of stuff, um, where I'm in a public place, and I'm getting every kind of reaction, and then that was three years ago, and here I am in YouTube, in a public place, and get every kind of reaction, and that's exact. And I had no idea what that meant, um, but I knew a wave was coming. I was warning everybody, and I was getting every kind of reaction from different people. People were running away. People weren't listening. People were uh, flipping me off, shaking their fist at me, just like was going on in YouTube. It's very surreal, and I was just I needed to take a break. I just said I'm done with this right now, and I so I took a break, and I spent a whole day with my family. Um, and my back has been hurting me and different stuff. And I just, I'm doing a lot better now. I just got in prayer, asked the Lord for help and peace. And uh, I'm doing a lot better now. So I'm ready to go back and fight, fight these lies and these in the enemy. So um, I'm recharged and ready to go. So here it is. Look at this thing. While I'm talking, this is the satellite infrared. One of the satellite infrareds that's available on NOAA. And I put the link up on my last video. And... This is crazy. So it's getting super close. It's actually the outer bands and the uh, the water that's outside the outer bands is actually hitting Hawaii, as you see right here. So all the naysayers, this is your evidence. Wake up. I mean, really, wake up. I've told you this is going to happen. So far, NOAA has the new, the latest update, and they've changed from their last update. They made it going uh, a different direction. Um, it, it's delayed it going up and everything. Um, so, I mean, I, I have the proof and this is more proof right here. Look at this. And then look to the right here. Look at the white bands and then there's the colored ones and there, which are the inner, inner bands. So you got the outer bands showing up right there and you got the, you know, way outer bands. It's hitting Hawaii. But the problem, the reason why this thing is flashing like this, this is the first time while I'm using this, that this does this missing frames. There are several missing frames here and all of them that cover Hawaii have several missing frames. The last few frames that show it even hitting more. So this is even a couple hour delay. So this is even closer to Hawaii than even what it shows. And I'll show you right now. Okay, here it is right here. Look down here. You see UTC 1921, 20, and it goes to 2 a.m. right there, and then it cuts off. Okay, look at it again. 2021, 20, 22. Look at the down at the bottom there. And then, and then it's 20, you'll see 2 a.m., and then it cuts off. And right now, it should say 4 UTC if it was up to date. So it's two hours off. So this is even closer than what it's even showing here. Okay, and this is the first time this has been missing frames and doing this, and it's on all of them. You can even look at that link I've showed you. It's just, this is so predictable. They don't want people to see this stuff. I mean, it's so, they're, they're so predictable. Like I said, I predicted that Hector would touch um, uh, the Big Island. It did. I proved it in my video. And they said it would completely miss it. Exactly what Noah said. Look back on any of this stuff. I predicted that Lane would actually hit Hawaii and dump a bunch of rain. And it did. And they said in the beginning it would miss it. And they kept changing and altering like they always do. Okay, so... And listen, all you people that are talking about all these models out there. Listen, when I... When they had their couple models... There are a few models that they use, and it went against all the other models that were saying what I was saying. I was going by the models that were contradicting them, because it fit, fit with the narrative on all the other information, okay? But 
listen, right now, a lot of the models, pretty much all the models are saying it won't hit. But I know by other sources, I mean, light side of the coin, dark side of the coin, that there is a third one. The timing is right. The days are right. This is, like I said in my video, this is 9 to 3. So going from 9 to 3, which is 9, the bottom of the pyramid. Look at my one of my last videos where it says 623. 923 is 623. 923 is going from 9 to TO3, the bottom of the pyramid to the top of the pyramid, going from base consciousness to spiritual consciousness. And then on, so 923 is 623. So we're still in 623, the third, 23rd day of Elul, because sunset was in Jerusalem or in Israel, um, you know, hours ago, but that sunset has not happened because we have this 24 um, time zones on the earth, and the difference is from Israel to um, Hawaii is 11 hours, and so the sunset line moves, and, it, and it's 11 hours difference. So sunset in uh, Hawaii is, I think, 6.45 p.m., and so if you look at my clock right here, it's four hours earlier there right now, so that's 6 o'clock. So this is actually, and this is, and this animation here, or this um, uh, satellite here, is actually showing two hours off. So it's, you see, it's affecting. You see, it's affecting Hawaii. So it's beginning to go from nine to three. This is the beginning in six twenty-three. So I've been vindicated completely. I don't care what anybody says. Look at this information. Look at this. It is these things are hitting Hawaii. It doesn't matter what anybody says. Here's the proof is in the pudding right here okay so this is all right you better get close to jesus right now i'm telling you right now all you who are doubt and don't know jesus you better get close to jesus because it's this all this stuff's about to hit all craziness is going on in the middle east right now this is not <laughs> this is not a coincidence wake up russia um syria iran they're all clashing in the middle east right now and it's going to get crazy and then we just had that uh, um, Jebby hit um, uh, Japan, caused massive havoc. I mean, somebody in the UN hates Japan. I mean, the UN hates Japan for, for different reasons. I think they're not going along with what they want, the program. Um, by the way, I found out today that the UN sets the names of all the hurricanes. Oh, surprise, surprise. I could have probably predicted that, actually. But I found out specifically that some kind of group, some kind of body of the UN names all the names of these hurricanes um so anyway and that name jebby actually means f u um it's crazy i mean it's it's just it's it's more the same you like i said that's how i can predict all this stuff to some degree like i said i don't know the speeds they're going to make it i don't know how they're going to control it exactly but i know the overall um the overall template but I don't know the details within that template, what they're going to do. So right now it's going at about, about 12 miles an hour. But it was at 24, 25. I was clocking it. And it's very simple. You can just take the movement of it and you can see the grid. I mean, it's standard mathematics. Okay. I was in calculus. I took trigonometry. I mean, I know all this stuff. Okay. And uh, you can take the, you can see the dot move. And you can see how many hours and how how much distance you can estimate. You can get a pretty good estimate. I mean, that's what police do when they're flying a plane over um, a piece of stretch of road, and they got two lines. And when you're driving over this this, and they're in a plane, they can see. They use a stopwatch in the plane, and they can see when you cross these lines. And they can um, that's completely legal. And they can tell what what your um, speed is miles per hour. So I'm doing a similar kind of that kind of th thing. So. Um, anyway, uh, it's just, it's just so predictable. I mean, what they do and how they change their, uh, models as they go. And so no one really, you know, they just, they look at kind of similarly. And so no one really, you know, looks into it too much and they go, oh, and they know how people think and all that stuff. And they put a lot of thought into all this stuff. So this is the proof of the pudding. And so, and I'm going to show you something else. Watch this. Okay. So this is the mimic map. And it's confirming what we're seeing in the IR. So this is microwaves um, showing an image of heat and things like that. Um, I don't know exactly how it completely works. I'm not a scientist and don't haven't studied all this stuff because I've had to learn as much as I can in a short period of time. But 
what you can see is there's these outer bands right there um, of water that's actually impacting Hawaii right now. Okay, it's mild. There's a mild weather going on, but it will. It is touching. It is affecting it. It is moving and it is touching it right there. If you see right there, and then very quickly these thing, the 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 main bands, the outer bands are going to actually hit Hawaii. Okay, now you, you watch this. So you can see this if you're kind of looking at it. It actually goes down a bit. Okay, um, now I'm going to show you the other. I have another mimic map from another source. So this thing is not going up at all. It's not going up at all. In fact, the trend is going down slightly um, if you look at it. So I'm going to show you another Mimic example so you can kind of see it. It's a little bit more obvious how it's going down a little bit at the very end, like right there. Okay, let me show you this. Okay, so this is another Mimic example. Okay, it's a little bit of a different platform. Now watch. Watch how the... See, this is being energized. You can see the little band turning it white, getting it faster. And then it's, then it's slowing down, and there's actually bands that show that. Now watch when it starts to turn black. The center gets on the line right here, the 20, right there, black, and then it goes down a little bit. Right there, see? It goes down, and it's actually showing it going down, not up. Okay, it's going down to meet Hawaii square on, right there. Okay, it's not going up whatsoever. And so far, I've proven that um, the models... If you look at the last two uh, updates from NOAA, and you compare the two, I'm not going to do it right now. Um, you can do it yourself if you're a doubter and you're a naysayer and all that stuff. You can compare the two. If you honestly do it, you can see how they've changed the track. It's changed, and they pushed it more south than what they originally predicted. And they keep doing this, so you see little incremental changes. So it looks like it's, it has, nothing's changed. Everything's, and that's what they keep doing all the time. And that's how I've been able to predict the things that they didn't predict. Because um, I've seen how they're manipulating these things. Um, it's just ridiculous. Now watch at the end here. Watch that dark part go down. Okay, it's going down. And I'm going to show you another example where they actually can clock the very center of the eye with this uh, digital squares. There's a red one and a blue one. Okay, I'm going to show you that next. So I'll have a third confirmation of this. Okay, here we are. Here's another infrared. I'm zoomed in, and I was, as I was saying, you see the blue and the uh, red squares that show the center point. Now watch. It's, it starts out, it, and earlier it was steadily on the 20 degree north line, and then it's been going steadily down. Now watch. See? It's been going steadily, slowly down, and there you go. So they, they didn't show it going south of the line, north line at all, of the 20 degree north line at all. Okay, they're already wrong. They've been wrong several times. They've been wrong for years. Okay, and I've proven how they've been wrong for Hector, uh, for Lane, for this one so far. All of the models right now are wrong. Okay, so pretty much. There might be a couple exceptions of some obscure ones I haven't seen. But these are all wrong right now. And like I said, all the conditions are right for this to happen. And, you know, the, what you're not keeping in mind, any of you naysayers, any of you people who go by tropical tidbits or, you know, GX or whatever it is, what you're not keeping in mind is they control these things. And if you don't know that by now, you need to wake up. I've shown in my videos, go back several videos, I've proven it. I've shown how they formed Irma, for example, with Weather War 101 YouTube channel and other things have shown how they make clouds, NASA makes clouds in Mississippi. I mean, it just goes and goes and goes. There's so much evidence. And if you don't know that by now, you need to wake up. And guess what? You're going to find out pretty soon because this stuff's going to hit. Chaos is going to start very soon. And you've been warned. You've been served, as I like to say. You've been served. And I don't. if it doesn't matter if you believe it right now, you will because this stuff's coming. It's coming like a freight train. It's going to smack everybody. And the ones who are with Jesus and know him and walk with him are going to be saved from th this stuff. And the ones who um, claim to know him and all that stuff and don't and don't walk with him, they will see what, you know, the ends of their living is going to be. And then hopefully they'll wake up and change. And all you unbelievers out there, you need to come to him because he loves you. He cares for you. He wants the best for you. And the world is turning so wicked, they are making weather and all kinds of stuff to destroy people so they can bring in their one world religion, one world government. It's all over the place. I mean, seriously, wake up. Wake up to this fact. 
and you'll see, you know, don't take my word for it. You'll see very soon when these things start happening, which I, again, I don't know the future. I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know exactly when it's going to happen, but I am showing right here by these, these examples that it, it is starting to affect Hawaii. Okay. It may be super minor right now, but it is. If that wasn't there, it would be different. It wouldn't be showing that. If that hurricane was not there, if it went far north, like they said way before that, those outer outer bands would not be touching Hawaii like I just showed. The proof is in the, it's right in front of your face. And it doesn't matter if you don't believe it. You'll see. You'll just see. So just wait a little bit. You'll see. And people, when this was first going, hurricane, um, this hurricane, uh, Norman, it was going to be September 7th when it finally hit, maybe. September 7th, September 8th. It's already touching. Uh, its effects are already touching Hawaii. Okay, and like I said, that one I first showed you, it's off by two hours still. Okay, so there's even more. So stuff is coming. So this, I'm just showing for all the you believers out there that want to know what's going on, this is coming on. And that it's just, there you go. You have an update. And for you not unbelievers out there, uh, you've been served. You've been served. You, you're seeing ahead of time what's coming at you. Um, and there's far more coming. There's going to be an earth, there's going to be a tsunami on the west coast, which is on our money. I'm sorry, the east coast, which is on our money. And there's just so much out there. They're going to hit wave after wave after wave and hit the United States. And the United States will fall so hard, you won't even believe it. You'll be so shocked and so 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 uh, whiplashed and so shell shocked. Um, that you won't even, it'll be, it's mind blowing what's going to happen. And this is not fear porn. This is not fear mongering. Okay. This is just the straight truth. Okay. It's my opinion based on facts. Just like if I was a prosecutor in a courtroom and I said, this is what this person did. And it's my opinion, but then I'm going to bet back it up by facts, evidence, um, a lot of circumstantial evidence because there's no, not a lot of smoking guns around. Okay, but that's how court cases are won, if you know anything about, um, you know, law or anything like that. So, anyway, here it is in front of your face, the evidence that I have. It is going from 9 to 3 on 623. 623 is not over yet. It's got a little bit longer. In fact, just a short time still, um, about 30 minutes. So, um, there you go. The case closed. This is Exalted Lamb 1, over and out.